Shu'aib alayhi salam. You know he's a messenger, right? Okay. Now as a messenger alayhi salam, he is mentioned numerous times in the Qur'an. Allah Azza wa Jal says to us, وَإِلَىٰ مَدْيَنَا أَخَاهُمْ شُعَيْبًا To Madian, we sent their brother Shu'aib. We sent their brother Shu'aib. Now, what I want to tell you is, what, what is the name of the nation to which he belonged? Madian. Now, Madian is the name of two things at the same time. You got to remember this, okay? Madian is two things. Madian is the name of a place, and it's the name of a people. The people are called Madian, and the place is also called Madian. And Allah says, to Madian we sent their brother, Shu'aib. In Surah Al-Shu'ara, Surah Al-Shu'ara, Surah number 26, Allah Azza wa Jal gives us the stories of different prophets. He says, إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ لُوطٌ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ صَالِحٌ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ هُودٌ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ نُوحٌ when their brother Nuh said to them, when their brother Nuh said to them, said to his nation, the next story goes to another prophet, when their brother Salih said to them, to his own nation. Then it goes to Hud, when their brother Hud said to them. Then when their brother uh, Salih, Nuh, Hud, alayhi salam, and Lut, four of them, their brother, their brother, their brother, their brother. The fifth one mentioned is Shu'aib. Allah says when Shu'aib said to them, he just says, إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ شُعَيْبٌ When Shu'aib says to them. With all the other prophets in that very surah, what did he say? Their brother Nuh, their brother Salih, their brother Lut, their brother Hud. But when he came to Shu'aib, he said, Shu'aib, no brother. What's really interesting is, other places in the Qur'an, Allah says, وَإِلَىٰ مَدْيَنَا Like I told you, وَإِلَىٰ مَدْيَنَا أَخَاهُمْ شُعَيْبًا to Madian, especially, we sent their brother, Shu'aib. In the surah in which everybody was declared the brother of their nation, you would expect that when Shu'aib's turn comes, what are you going to see? Their brother. But the word brother is taken out. It's the only one that's been taken out. Everybody else retained. And what we find that's really interesting is right before, remember the nation to which he was sent, what was their name? Madian. They have another name called Ashabul Aika. It's a longer name, Ashabul Aika, means the people of Al Aika. Aika was a giant tree that they used to worship. The name of that tree was Aika. So they were known by their religious name too. Their religious identity was the people of Aika. The fact that he was born in Madian, that he belonged to the city of Madian, that his race was a Midian race, right? One of the Arabs. Because of that, by race and by region, he is their brother. So Allah says to Madian, we sent their brother Shu'aib. But when it comes, when he, Allah mentions them not as the people of Madian, but the people of what? Al Aika, that tree. Allah is speaking to them at, with their religious identity. And when it comes to their religion, is he their brother? No. So when Allah mentions their religion, he says, when Shu'aib said to them, no brother. By removing the brother from that context in particular, what has been highlighted? What's been highlighted is, there is no brotherhood when it comes to conflict in deen. That's, that goes away. It's very, very profound, precise usage. Because what we are told to expect, case after case after case in Surah so Al-Shu'ara is, أَخَاهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ 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 And all of a sudden the omission of أَخُوهُمْ Precision. And you could see why that precision took place.